This is a Cricut, the Cricut Electronics, built to fit inside a Stapleton Cricut Phaser. As you can see, the circuit board easily fits into the Stapleton Cricut body, and the buttons and the lights line up. The fire button would be located right here. It would be going underneath that panel. The speaker will fit into the recessed area right here at the bottom of the phaser. The batteries can be wired through to this compartment here and it's recommended to use four LR1130 batteries to give you the optimum power. Those are small pill batteries. The Cricut Phaser Electronics, when wired up to a battery source, work like this. Just like all other phasers, the left button causes the display to go up. The bottom button is the fire button. The, if you go up to the next level, there's only two levels on this phaser. The second level up between five and eight will give you a different sound. Going beyond that will give you the diagnostic mode, which you can also use to set your overload. So you hold down the button, the right button, you hear the three beeps, and then you press the left button once. The firing emitter LED is bright enough to light up the small firing tip on the kit, as you can see. Like all the other electronics, this phaser electronics also contains an automatic shutoff after 60 seconds.